Hey friends, Paul McGinnis here with just some quick thoughts for your daily walk. Uh, coming to you today from Luke chapter 12, and it's verse 48, where Jesus says something to his disciples and all the people that are listening that really challenges us. He says, to whom much is given, much will be required. To whom much has been entrusted, much will be expected. And it's so easy for us to compare ourselves with everybody else and, and maybe convince ourselves that other people have more than us. But that doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if other people have more. It matters what we have, what we've been given, and what we are doing with what we've been given. You will certainly be able to find people who have more than you. But if you open your eyes, you'll also find people who have less than you. And you certainly cannot deny that you've been given something. You've been given some time. You've been given some energy. You've been given some resources, some passion or experience or education or expertise, some relationships. You have something. And what you've been given hasn't been given to you just to use on you. It's been given to you from God so that you can bless others, so that you can pursue his mission for your life, so that you can spread his love and his grace. And to whom much is given, and I dare to say, if you're watching this video, if you've got access to YouTube and the internet and a smartphone, then globally speaking, you are someone to whom much has been given. And so much will be expected. And that should challenge us. It should remind us to, to use what we have uh, to bring God glory, to push other people to Him, to make this world a little bit more like God's kingdom. And so that's my hope for you today, these words from Luke 12, 48, to whom much is given, much will be expected. To whom much has been entrusted, much will be required. It's been a little while since I did a shirt shout out, so I'll, I'll give a shout out today. And this shirt from my friends at the Restavik Freedom Foundation, a group that has made it their mission to end childhood slavery in Haiti in our lifetime. They are taking what they've been given and they are leveraging it for, the less, uh, for those that are oppressed for those that are voiceless and powerless. They are speaking up and standing up for children that are trapped in a cycle, in a system of modern day slavery. And so check out the rest of Freedom Foundation, the good work that they are doing in Haiti, and join them with some of what you've been given today.